I want to talk about Christmas cards. We'll go back to property. Don't worry, throughout the morning. Do you want to talk about Christmas cards? Overwhelming, 72% of us would prefer to receive a traditional card this Christmas. Do you know what? I, I don't send cards and I'm not bothered about receiving them. Uh, the Christmas card industry is worth, wow, 384 million, with over a billion Christmas cards sold last year. Christmas cards. Sharon Little is the chief exec of the Greetings Card Association. Good morning from Birmingham, Sharon. Where is she? Oh, Lady Charlotte, you've messed up again. Where is she? OS5 today. OS5, she's on OS5. Good morning from Birmingham. Hello, can we're, you hear me? Yes, we've got you. That was a cock-up from my, my producer, uh, another one this morning. <laughs> now that's Sharon. Uh, you're talking to someone who isn't bothered about sending them and doesn't receive them. Well, I do receive them. On the other hand, my wife, she loves sending them. She uh, sent off a batch the other night, about 20-odd cards, and she really pays attention to, the, to what's printed in them as well. You know, the writing from the factory really pays attention. Well, I'm really pleased to hear that. I'm, I think um, I think it's the, the rule, general rule of thumb for our industry is that 85% of all cards are sent by women. Although I think that's changing slightly because I think I think men are starting to engage much more with cards, um, probably via the, the 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 moon pig route, you know, yeah. where, where they <clears throat> excuse me, where you can actually be creative and customise your own card. But uh, yes, we, we we're going to send, well, we're going to buy a, a massive one billion Christmas cards this Christmas, Unbelievable. which is a huge number of cards. Um, and also on top of that, we have an amazing community in this country of crafters who all make their own Christmas cards. So so that's a huge number of Christmas cards that will be sent this year. Yes. Um, and Sharon, the uh, the internet, is that having a big, a big effect on you? Because you can get these Christmas cards that unfold and open online, can't you, before your very eyes? Well, the only thing about that is that you can't put them on the mantelpiece. Right. And we really do like receiving something physical. And and also we really like connecting with someone through their handwriting. Uh, handwriting is such a personal, um, individual thing. Uh, and there's a little bit of magic, I think, on uh, in ink on paper because, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that that person has actually physically um, created um, themselves. And, and the writing, the, a personal message from someone which really shows that you know they they care about you they've spent time handwriting mm. that message to you that is incredibly emotionally powerful mm. i think you know what it's interesting i think generationally in the future i think people will have poorer handwriting because we don't write as much do we Absolutely, and uh, they're, they're, we're in danger of, of handwriting being lost um, in schools as well because children are uh, more and more moving over to keyboards yeah. and there is in fact some research which has shown that we don't learn in the same way if we're tapping in on a keyboard to if we're handwriting because with handwriting we actually need to listen properly to what's being said. We need to, to decide what's important, what's, what's key. We need to understand what's being said when we're actually taking notes by hand yeah. and it helps the brain to to wire itself in an incredibly um, clever way. Yeah. So, so if we if we lose handwriting, we're going to actually lose something very, very important in the way our brains work. You are so right. And I'm 46, Sharon, and I am ashamed of my handwriting. And I, it's the one thing I get really embarrassed about. I, I can't really write unless they're separated the letters. And there tends to be a, a mix of little letters, and then all of a sudden there's a big letter for, for no apparent reason. And it's something oh, that, that I'm that thoroughly ashamed your, of. <laughs> that could just be your individual quirkiness. But I, I, I would, I would, I would just practice a little bit more, and you know, start start writing notes and things by hand rather than tapping mm. things in, oh, and start writing some more cards, Daddy. Individual quirkiness, <laughs> right? That's going to end up on a trail. Thank you so much, Sharon. <laughs> Best of luck. Have a great Christmas, and uh, I hope that we continue to buy cards. And you're right to have a concern about the handwriting because. Uh, I think generationally we're losing it. Thank you, Sharon. Happy Christmas, Danny. Merry Christmas. Individually quirky. Thank you very much indeed. She's only just met me and she's just described me to a T. I'll just speak to her for two minutes. She knows I'm quirky. How about that?